On any college football Saturday, safe to say you will find players from all over the country on the roster. And at Morningside University, the same thing holds true for the crew running down the markers. Tim? That's right. The chain gang you'll find at Morningside Games is made up of volunteers from around Siouxland. But the commitment that one member logs for each game is hard to imagine. How he's making a difference in this week's Siouxland story. Recently retired after almost a decade of work at Missouri's maximum security prison, Spencer Kane knows something about tough guys. I had a Kansas City gang member threatened to shank me. Shanked on the yard is not a way I want to go. <laughs> One died on the sideline running for a first down. <laughs> Please, Spence, get him up! <laughs> these days, the 1980 graduate of West High School is only focusing on these tough guys. I used to work with Denny at Mercy, and he was short-handed one weekend, and he asked me to come out. I helped that week, and I just kept showing up. <laughs> showing up doesn't begin to describe Spencer's commitment to the chain gang. In 2013, five years after joining the gang, he accepted that prison job in Missouri, putting his Saturday sideline session in jeopardy. He's been making the drive ever since. Highway lines blurring with sideline markers. I know every bump on the road from St. Joe to Sioux City on I-29. Round trip is close to 500 miles, 277 one way. Uh, it's about 3,700 for a season and uh, all on my own dime. Why would anyone do that? Because the pay, a slice of pizza and a Coke at halftime. What, 10 years or so we've been together, worked together real well. There's no getting rich here but finding yourself in the middle of the battle self-preservation is both educational and exhilarating. Hey, give me zero, zero. We had a collision in front of me the last game and I know if I had got hit like that I'd been laying there till Wednesday. <laughs> they both just popped right up and went back to the huddle. Up close and personal when you see it, it it's something really amazing with morning fight. That's six. Seeing the coaching tactics on the sideline is really neat. At any moment, you can go from a three-yard run to an 80-yard bomb, you know, and they just take off running as soon as they catch the ball. Spencer runs with what's known as the hog, a piece of orange leather placed on the field to mark where a first down can be achieved. Same guys, we're all grayer now, <laughs> all slower. We all walk to the first down now <laughs> instead of run so much. <laughs> The fourth quarters are brutal. I feel it Sunday mornings, every Sunday morning. I get up and it, ooh, I feel every year of my age. <laughs> Last week's game added an unexpected obstacle. It, it's a lot hotter than normal. You feel the heat coming up from the ground. My worst is cold rain. I hate doing chain gang and cold rain. I don't mind snow, I don't mind wind. Cold rain is the worst. With three regular season home games and NAIA playoffs remaining after that, there's no telling what conditions await Spencer and his teammates, or how many more miles he'll log before retiring the hog for another season. Spencer told me he recently bought his third vehicle since joining the, wow. uh, the uh, chain gang, and this time he said, I was smart enough to go with a hybrid, wow. so he's going to save a little mileage there. Also want to mention, for some 20 years, Denny Hammerstrom has been the guy that's organized that chain crew, and uh, it includes members from all over Siouxland. We have another guy from Sanborn that wow. drives to the games every week. It's not close either. No, it's a, it's a haul. Incredible. Uh, Tim is a member of it as well. We have to tell our viewers, and there must be something special going on there because uh, you guys just it, keep coming back. It's a good way to spend part of your Saturday. Homecoming's coming up here the first Saturday of October.